Hey everybody, this is the Scotsman at Alabama Pipe Welders Academy. This is Matt showing us a little of this back feeding technique, showing off his new TIG handle, torch handle, custom leather, nice and soft. And uh, before he starts out, he's gonna get that tungsten nice and sharp. This is some five inch schedule 80, 3 16th filler wire, I mean uh, gap wire, and 1 8th filler wire 70S2, running on about 98 amps. He's put two tacks in, and uh, usually he said he'd put three, keep it from closing up on one side, but you know, for filming purposes, we're just putting two. Give you a good idea how, how we tack these things up and adjust the gaps. You can see the whole process here and what it looks like. And, and you know, this filler wire, we, uh, it's 70S2. We took a little Scotch-Brite and, and shined up the wire a little bit and uh, helps with the silica, you know, just let it run a little bit smoother get some of that copper coating off of it you see him putting these tacks in so here we go we're gonna get started on this and uh, basically you're gonna freehand this whole route uh, a key here is wire control so you and, and how you hold the TIG rig and uh, the, you know he, he'll be propping up with his uh, middle finger his ring finger and using his thumb and forefinger to hold the rig at the neck and you know the biggest, the hardest part of this, like I said, is wire control, keeping that wire connected to the puddle at all times. And uh, how you hold this is pretty important. You wanna always give your fitter number one. Tell him he's, don't forget to tell him he's number one. They always ask me, what the, What are you doing? Why are you always flipping him off? I said, I'm not, I'm telling him he's number one. So don't forget to do that like Matt's doing right here. And uh, once you get this art going, First thing you wanna do is keep this puddle hot. Hot enough, once you get that puddle going, you can introduce the wire into the leading edge of that puddle and then start working it back and forth. I always keep that tungsten straight in, back and forth. And uh, he's got a little technique he'll do here where he'll freak that puddle, freeze it, and he'll be able to readjust his hand to feed the wire again. So when you're first starting out, this is a good technique to use. You can see him, he's introduced the wire tungsten back and forth and then he'll come out of that puddle right there and readjust his hand it's a real quick motion you can barely see, tell what's going on but if you watch him see he comes out back in and uh, you can see that wire staying at the leading edge that's probably the biggest thing is if that wire becomes if you disconnect that wire from that puddle on the bottom it's gonna fall out on you then you're gonna have suck back it's gonna you have to pull the grinder out uh, grind it back and restart this. So you definitely don't wanna lose that surface tension. It's uh, keeping tension on that puddle in between the two bevel walls, keeping it from falling out, so. I was joking earlier about giving your fitters a bird, but uh, I'll tell you, the, the struggle is real, people. And uh, you know, you're gonna run into some people out there, some fitters especially, that you just can't get along with. And, and uh, you know, my fitter, he works up at the school with us and he didn't, he just started up there working with us a, a couple weeks ago. And, you know, I told him, I said, see there, you couldn't get along with that other welder either. But uh, no, all jokes aside, we're really good friends and, and we get along real well now. But at, at first it wasn't, it wasn't looking too good. Kind of reminds me of the story of the two boys walking home from Sunday school after hearing a, a lesson on the devil. And, one of them said to the other, he said, uh, what do you think about all this Satan stuff? And, and the boy replied, he said, well, you know how Santa Claus turned out? It's probably just your dad. So, you know, we can kind of chuckle at that conversation. But the truth is, is that evil was alive and well in our society and in the world. And, you know, there's terrorism, murder, domestic violence, child abuse, and the list goes on. Man's inhumanity to his fellow human beings has been a, a reality for a long time. Education hasn't solved the problem. Technology hasn't been the, hasn't solved it. Wealth and financial security haven't been the answer. But you know the good book, it talks about it. Tells you you know it's primarily a spiritual battle. And and the Apostle Paul he even said you know we battle against powers and principalities. And went on further to say that uh, you can't overcome evil with evil, but overcome evil with good. So I encourage you, you know, if you got that fitter out there that's uh, giving you a hard time, just bless him. Just shine a little light in the darkness and things will get better. 
I hope you'll be encouraged from these words and I uh, hope you enjoy the videos. Stay tuned for some more uh, to come. Give it all to the students, but it is a function holder and a flashlight in one. I love it. 